Hi guys, today let's talk about the different types of drive shafts. Lately, you've seen me using the CVA drive shaft on my MP10 and MP10E. I would like to explain you why. The universal joint that is the standard in the MP10 and MP10E buggy and the CVA or the CVD drive shafts. We call it CVA or CVD, constant velocity drive shaft or joint. It depends where the joint is, if it's a type like that, or if the ball is with the axle. So why am I using that though? The main difference is gonna be the speed of rotation and the friction of the drive shaft. We call it a CVA or CVD for constant velocity because if you take a universal joint, if you put an angle to the drive shaft, the speed you're gonna have on the wheel is not gonna be consistent. It's gonna accelerate, brake, accelerate, brake on every rotation. So it might create some vibrations. The perfect CVA would have the exact same speed of rotation always. The problem in the RC industry is that we don't really have proper CVAs. The only system that is getting close to that is the double joint. We can see those systems on 10 scale cars, touring or four wheel drive buggies. So you have two joints together and it's really reducing the vibration and getting closer to the constant velocity drive shaft. But today with that kind of drive shaft, what we're gonna use is the friction. We have more parts in motion and the friction is gonna be higher with a CVA or CVD than with a universal. And this is gonna have a big impact on your suspension. If we take the car, you can see the angle of the drive shaft here. It's not parallel to the chassis. So it's going to create more friction in the out drive here and more friction on the joint itself here. The drive shaft itself always want to go straight. So the biggest effect is going to be when you go on power. On power with that type of drive shaft, it's going to push the wheel to the ground more. So, so it's going to generate more grip. And also the big advantage of that is when you go full up travel, it's going to push the wheel to the ground more. So the car with quite less, especially after the jumps. When you accelerate, landing a jump, so the suspension is gonna be more rigid, stiffer, so it's not gonna bounce as hard. That is why also sometimes when you put a new drive shaft on, you always think about oiling them or not, or when you clean your car, it has an effect also because you are lubricating the drive shaft and you're gonna have less friction, less support for your car, and your car might be a little bit softer and that's why you see the difference. Let's go on the track. Bye-bye.